Welcome to Odo Tutorial by Vassam Infotech. Today we will discuss how to create SQL views in Odo. So let's dive in. SQL stores data in the form of rows and columns called tables. These are stored in the database and can be accessed using queries. But when we have to take data from multiple tables and combine them using some conditions, then in that case we can use a function known as view. View is just a data displayed as a result of a query. It is not stored anywhere. So we can use views to combine multiple tables and display the data for getting better insights. So in Odoo, we can use SQL views using this query to generate a view. And from that view, we can take the data and display it in a tree view. In Odoo, to get data from multiple tables, we use the Odoo ORM search methods. But when there are a lot of tables, the search method is comparatively slower. But when we use query, it is faster than the search method. So we can use the query, SQL queries to combine data from multiple tables and display it in a view. So let's see how we can do this in Odoo. To create an SQL view in Odoo, we have to create a normal model in Odoo, which has some fields uh, based on the uh, data we require. So, in this example, we'll create an SQL view for the sales data. So, just create a new model of type model and give an additional attribute called auto equal to false. This auto equal to false is given to specify that this particular model does not need to be stored in the database. So, it is just for the viewing purpose. Then, add the fields that are required. So it would look something like this and then create a view for this particular model. You have to create a tree view and the action and its menu editor. And then create a view for this model. You have to create the tree view, its action and its menu item. So that when you click on the menu item, the old SQL view shows. So after creating the view, now we have to specify our query to get the view. So we will specify the query within the model in the python file under the function init function. We specify this query in the init function because init function is the first one that is to be ex that is executed when this particular model is called. So within the init function we can write our query like access display in the screen. So we will give our query within the function execute and so the query given inside the execute function is a normal for query that is used to get a view in SQL. So within that query, we have to specify the fields that we need. So for example, if we have to get the sale order number, we will call the sale order number. For example, the sale order sequence is stored in the field name. So in the query, we will give select name as, then in the name for that particular field, we will give the fields name. That is that the field name that we have specified in the our view model. So it will be coming as so.name as sale number. The same step is repeated for all the next fields that we require. Then once this particular query is completed, we can install this particular module. And if we go to a menu item that is for the SQL view, we can see that we have a view that is similar to the data output provided by SQL. But this has uh, all the details listed down. This will be taken much faster than if you do it with SQL, sorry, if you do it with normal search methods in Odoo. So in this way, we can create an SQL view in Odoo. Thank you.